This video has been ready to render for about two weeks now, and since then I've improved the audio within my content, but I don't want to just throw this video away. Hey guys, I'm Forpost from HTTL, and today I'll be talking in depth about Renekton. It has a fun skill set which can result in some impressive players if you use it well. Renowned for having one of the strongest early games in the league, he snowballs well and deals well with champions who have a weaker early game, for example Irelia. Renekton can be built as a tanky bruiser or as a DPS. You should decide this by looking at your team and the enemy team's picks. For a more DPS style Renekton, I recommend taking 15 AD from Marks and Quints, Army Yellows and Magic Resistance Blues, as this rune setup allows for you to have a huge damage output in the early levels, which can help you snowball. If you need to be a tanky Renekton, then I take Armor Penetration Marks, Armor Seals, Magic Resistance per level Glyphs and Movement Speed Quintessences. With this rune setup, you will be more tanky late game and find it easier to manoeuvre around the team fights. If you have chosen the DPS build for Renekton, I take 21-9-0 in my masteries. Note that I don't opt for extra critical strike damage, as I don't build enough critical items on Renekton to make it valuable. For a tankier Renekton, I take 9-21-0, instead swapping out damage modifiers to be more of a damage soak late game. It's your choice on what summoner spells you want to use on Renekton, but in my mind, there are only 4 to choose from. Ghost, Flash, Ignite and Exhaust. First, you should choose between Flash and Ghost. Both flow very well with this kit. Ghost allows you to abuse Slice and Dice to either run away from a fight or stick onto a target. Meanwhile Flash lets you surprise the enemy with a Ruthless Predator auto attack, which can chunk enemies who stay in lane on rather low health. Next, you should choose between either Ignite and Exhaust. I personally prefer Ignite, as it allows for even more damage in his kit, but Exhaust is useful too. This choice can be influenced by the enemy team. If you are against an Aurelia, I would personally roll an Ignite to prevent her ultimate from healing her up. But if I was to land against an Udia, I'd probably take an Exhaust, as with Slice and Dice and Exhaust, Udia will not be able to escape you. My personal recommendation is Ghost and Ignite, however if you are not comfortable with not taking Flash, then take Flash instead of Ghost. I prioritise levelling my skills, as you can see. Call the Meek offers a lot of sustain and strong ranged harass, so this gets prioritised, as I believe it is too useful in the lane phase to miss out on. Remember that Call the Meek generates rage only when it is not the empowered version. Slice and Dice is next, as per level the cooldown is reduced. The utility it offers is amazing, and it makes Renekton one of the best champions to manoeuvre around the map. You can cross small gaps in the jungle with it, escape ganks without blowing any summoner spells, or use it to close the gap on an enemy. Finally, Ruthless Predator is left until last. Leveling it only increases the base damage of the skill, not the duration of the stun. In the lane phase, you should be able to bully most champions. To start, build up your rage bar by last hitting minions. Upon building 50 rage, you should slice through the creeps to the enemy and use an empowered ruthless predator auto attack. Then, you should start to retreat and use your call the meat to clip the enemy at max range and dice away. If done correctly, you will often find that you take very little damage back from the enemy, if you take any damage at all. However, there are some champions you simply cannot engage in this fashion on, in example Udia, and against these champions you should just use Call the Meek at his peak range to harass them, however care not to push out your lane by AoEing the creeps down. As Renekton you should be a lane bully, by this I mean that every time the enemy tries to gain a CS, you should either harass them or start to zone them by putting them in range of a slice. Obviously don't do this if you are losing your lane, or you know that they'll win the fight, but try your best to make them feel uncomfortable. When you use your ultimate, Dominus, your character model grows. This makes the range of his AoE skill, Call the Meek, bigger. Keep this in mind in a teamfight. There are multiple items that are viable on Renekton, and the most common build is the Tanky Bruiser build. As the DPS build is not often seen, I will go into depth on some of the items within it. You should start, boot some free pots on Renekton, almost always, for the maneuverability it offers and the sustain. From there, I usually choose between going for Double Dorans, Brutalizer or Rickles. If I am doing really well in my lane phase, I will go for a Brutalizer, as the cooldown, damage and armor pen are really good stats for Renekton. If I am doing okay, but need not only damage but a bit more sustain, I will buy a few Dorans Blades. And finally, if I need the sustain and some armor, as I am doing not very well in my lane phase, I will grab a Rickles Lantern. From here, I build situationally. Normally a Bloodthirster next if I am doing very well, but if against an AP, I would go for a Hex Drinker into a more of Malmortius. This flows well with Renekton's passive, as his passive generates 50% more rage when he's under half his health, whilst the more gives him more attack damage the lower health he has. Guardian Angel is a great item for DPS Renekton too. It gives you the resistances that you need to stay in the fray, and gives incentive for the enemy team to not focus you down as you'll just revive. If this happens, you'll get free reign to cause havoc and easily destroy chosen foes. If you have a really good lane phase as Renekton, a Trinity Force isn't a bad idea, it helps you to keep snowballing. 
However, I would only recommend it if you get a really, really good start. An item to keep in mind is the Black Cleaver. With an empowered Ruthless Predator attack, you will fully stack the armor debuff on an enemy champion, which can destroy them in the lane phase. However, this is a very situational item, and I would recommend playing around with it, but not necessarily adding it to your usual build. Renekton works well with a lot of champions. A champion that has a huge AoE lockdown, for example a Mumu synergizes with Renekton, as after his ultimate you can follow up with an AoE called the Meek and deal a lot of damage with your ultimate. He mixes well with sustained champions too, like Cassiopeia, as he can help control the target she is trying to take down. Regardless of how you choose to build your Renekton, he is one of the fun champions in the game. If you have never tried out the AD style build to him, feel free to give it a go. And until next time, this has been Four Pause. Good luck guys.